what's going on i'm conductor chaos i got a video for you today i don't normally put this stuff out but i was so in awe of let me put my little blue blockers on real quick i was in i was so in awe of what i discovered today um my steam deck i had been wanting to play spire tanks on this thing and i couldn't find a tutorial online so i guess i'm obligated to make one i'll do the best i can at explaining all this stuff um so I got it working. The controls all work. It's fucking epic. Excuse my language, but it's awesome. And now I can play on the go. I can connect to hotel Wi-Fi, hopefully. I have to test that. I tested my Verizon uh, hotspot today. It was terrible. Didn't work. So I didn't really have... I wasn't really in a great signal area either, so that might have something to do with it. Um, the SD, SD card that I'm using is a 10 megabyte per second, class 10, class 1, uh, V class is a 10. So it's in the middle of the road. Um, you can pick these up fairly cheap. You can get a 512 gig, for example, that's one step above what I have for $46. That's all you need to get this done, is this little micro SD card and a micro SD sl slot on your Steam Deck. I'm not sure if the lower end one has... A slot I'm assuming it is um, this is the middle of the road I think this is a 256 gig um, or 125 gig whatever whatever that middle of the road one was um, okay so what you're gonna need is the Steam Deck Windows files one second these are all the drivers for Windows APU driver, Wi-Fi driver, Bluetooth driver, SD card, uh, card reader driver, and audio drivers. So you're going to download all these, put those in a folder, save that for later. Then you're going to go over here to Steam Deck Nation Windows 10. All these links are down in the bottom. You're going to download this ISO image. It's 14 gigs. Once that stuff's downloaded, uh, you are going to... Open up Belina Etcher. Where did I put Belina Etcher? Put your SD card in your PC. And you're going to run Belina Etcher. You're going to flash from file. You're going to select that Windows 10 Steam Deck Nation image file. Uh, you're going to need one at least 16 gig. or well, You're going to want 125 gig or a 256 gig. Because you're going to be running Windows OS on this. So you're, you're going to want a little bit of space. I'm doing mine on a... 256 gigabyte SD card, excuse me. Um, so once you select this, you're going to get this little possible Windows image detected. Just ignore it, hit continue. Um, select target, you're going to select your SD card. Once you do that, you'll hit flash, and it's going to flash Windows installation disk onto your little, your little micro SD. You're going to put that into your Steam Deck. You're going to hold down the volume, hit the power. That's going to bring up a special boot menu. You're going to boot from that. Um, you keep keep the minus down until the boot menu comes up. Once that boot menu comes up, select your SD card. Let Windows run through its thing. It's going to take a little bit to get that installed. Once that's all installed, um, shut down the Steam Deck. Pull the SD card back out. Remount it to your computer. Go back to that folder where you downloaded everything. All these files here, so your APU, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your SD card reader, and your audio drivers, put those into a folder, put them into the root directory of your SD card or wherever you can remember they're going to be, and then you're going to boot your Windows back up, install Steam, install the APU driver, install the Wi-Fi driver, install Bluetooth, install the SD card reader, and install your audio drivers, restart after each one of those installations that require it. Okay, and once you get all that on there, go and get Brave Browser, install Brave Browser. This is so that you can log into your uh, Gala Games before doing so. If you choose to do so, you can get um, Norton or any kind of environment to install that. This is a Windows environment, so anything that you can run on a native computer will also run on here. <clears throat> I don't know how much that's going to slow things down, but I mean, give it a shot, see what happens. Um, and then MetaMask, you'll download that, install that into the Brave browser. Um, 
and get those things there and then once you log in to Gala Games you will have an install but before we get to this point there's going to be a few more things you're going to want to do so to get um, the controls the controller itself after Steam is installed you're going to open up Steam and you want to click a few different things but I'm going to put the videos give credit to ED4T channel um, I'm going to put this link to this video. You're going to run through all this. This is going to set up your Steam client, your Windows environment to recognize your controller layout so that when you're playing Spider Tanks, um, it, you can actually use all the buttons. But you're going to need to run this program before you launch Spider Tanks. Um, and he goes through all that in this video. So just watch this video all the way through. Um, just give you an idea. He's just kind of running through all kinds of different settings in this in this thing. How to install things. Um, there is one point I would like to make on this file that you run. This gloss si config.exe. If you right click on that and go to properties, go to compatibility tab, and then click uh, run as administrator, and then right click again on that folder or on that file and then put a shortcut to your desktop so every time you want to go play spider tanks you just you know double click that on your desktop get that up and running and what that's going to do is um, create a virtual xbox 360 controller which is your steam deck controller or controls so that way when you're playing spider tanks it's going to register okay so once that's all done you are going to that's it that's all we got to do um well you're gonna have to go install uh your spider tanks obviously so you'll download the launcher get that installed and then you'll hit play on spider tanks link your metamask so you get credit for you know your crypto rewards and stuff um and that's it man that's all you got to do super simple um if you don't if you don't run through this step here um you can link an xbox 360 controller via bluetooth to this and it'll work that way so you can play you know looking at the screen if you don't Want to go through all this but i highly recommend going through all that because then you can actually map all your keys and you can use the thumbsticks to control your tanks um dude i hope this helps everybody um if you got any questions i'm conductor chaos i'm in the discords most all the time just hit me up in a dm um first part of your dm just put like spire tanks help or something like that so because i get a lot of spam stuff and i basically shut off my uh dms or i ignore stuff if i don't know who it is um but that's it Appreciate it, and uh, let me know if you need any help. Yeah. Y'all have a beautiful day or night. I'm out.